Uh, my name is Rafael. Um, I'm, our family is, uh, is involved in organic farm for seven generations. Uh, I am uh, the, yeah, the person in the company doing the, the marketing part, but uh, we are a very small company, so we, we all do kind of everything. And um, I also know about the farming methods we apply here. Our farm uh, has, been, uh, has been here for, for a long, long time. The family has been involved in farming for a long time, as I said before, seven generations. But uh, uh, they were not specialized in olive oil production like we are today in the past. It used to be farmers producing cereals and also uh, having cattle in the past and almond trees. And uh, in the 90s, we decided to change that uh, and focus more. Most of the land we are using today is for olive trees. We focus more on that and design a strategy of changing crop and also we set up an olive oil mill where we produce our own olive oil from our own olives. The organic uh, production gave us um, uh, first differentiation. You can imagine today is very common, it, it's good. Organic market is, is growing and there's common to see organic products everywhere. But in the 90s, it was kind of strange. So it's really difficult, but we, we saw a differentiation possibility because of that, you know, uh, marketing strategy was designed because of that and, uh, and uh, we could achieve markets because of that too. So that was one of the reasons of doing that. So already thought not only uh, as farmers, but also as, as a business a company and trying to, you know, do be integral in the production and try to, to achieve the final consumer as soon as possible, you know, doing everything and then, you know, then you get enough profit to live from this really dry area. The soils in, in, uh, in our farm are mostly calcaric. You know, it's a very dry and low in organic matter. We, we have seen that uh, in, using the methods we, uh, we apply for this study, but we have been doing this kind of methods in other parts of the farm for longer time than here, uh, we, we could uh, improve the soil quality, the productivity in the long term. We don't see results in organic farming very often in the short term, but in the longer. Time. We are doing um, minimum tillage in our farms. Some part of the farms we also do grassing, but it's not in the study places, you know. We are, we are aporting organic matter. We use the compost to fertilize the farm. We are um, respecting the covers, you know, during the part of the year and just take it away when there's competence for water. And, um, and we have an irrigation system which is down uh, to avoid uh, evaporation. So we tried with all these methods to improve the production, to save water and, to, and we see also increase the, the organic matter content in the soil, which is uh, very, very low in general here. And, uh, but with these matters, we can see in other experiences in ourselves, in other farms, we could be in levels about 10 times more than a region average, which is helping very much in the long term the, the crops to, to be healthy and to be productive without much inputs. The practices we are applying, we don't see there is much problems. Uh, and that's one of the reasons we accepted to enter the, the study. To other farmers that are not using these practices, I would recommend to start thinking about uh, what they are doing to their soils. Because, um, you know something, production today or anything you have, uh, it's not that important that they keep taking care of your soil. If you are a farmer, the, the investment you are making in your soil, if you're taking it with care, you lay it to your sons in a proper way. It's the more important thing. If you don't do that, you will be more dependent in the future, more and more. If your soil, soil gets eroded, you have erosion, you have problems on it, you will get more dependent on inputs, you will get more dependent on fertilizers, you will get dependent on using more water, and it makes no sense because it will mean, yes, more money. So, uh, so doing good practices in farming is not only beautiful to tell, it's profitable, but we need to always look at it in the long term, yes. When they see the examples, they come to the farms and they compare their farms or local farms to the farms you have and they see, okay, they are no worse, they are sometimes even better. So that's, that's the key. We're doing this because we believe on, on working and helping doing the things in a better way.